Microsoft's apparently bringing out the big guns, as their latest endeavor into ARM PCs is a hefty one, and the company is calling them Copilot Plus PCs. With the repeated blows Microsoft took at Apple at the Surface event a few days ago, it's pretty obvious how their latest lineup in the Surface series called the Surface Laptop 7 is a direct competitor to Apple's M3 MacBook. With that in mind, how far are they faring in the battle? And will Microsoft's attempt with Copilot plus PCs cost Apple an arm, pun not intended, and disrupt the flow? Let's find out in our video today. Aluminum appears to be the name of the game, as we keep seeing almost all manufacturers rely on it for crafting their tech. Apple and Microsoft both decided to go with the flow and crafted their beautiful laptops with polished, high-quality aluminum chassis. While you might have seen how Apple advertises their laptops being crafted from a single block of aluminum, Microsoft hasn't shed light on how their laptop was built. Although, judging by the build quality itself, it should be pretty good. Now, the smallest Surface laptop comes with a 13.8-inch display, whereas the MacBook Air comes with a 13-inch unit. However, the MacBook is equipped with a higher resolution display of 2560 by 1664, 224 ppi, in comparison to the Surface Laptop 7, which comes with 2300 4 by 1536 pixels of resolution. This means, with no surprises at stock, and as we all expected by now, Apple has the edge in terms of displays, courtesy of the broader dimensions that make the display a lot sharper and allow us to watch or view more content simultaneously. Yes, multitasking is fun, deal with it. But does it mean Microsoft doesn't have an edge, apart from their immensely successful internet browser? Well, they do apparently, and it comes off at a different angle, where the Surface laptops come with a higher refresh rate display of 120Hz, whereas the display on MacBook Air is unfortunately capped at a measly 60Hz. The brightness takes a toll as well, since the Surface PCs are tested to peak at 600 nits of brightness, whereas the M3 MacBook Air can provide a brightness of 500 nits. Another clutch from the Surface laptops comes with a satisfying touch-capacitive display, which doesn't come with the MacBook. But doing the whole back-and-forth thing, Apple retaliates by maintaining a comparatively slimmer physique in comparison, measuring less than half an inch in thickness. The 13.8-inch Surface is a bit wider, measuring 0.69 inches at its widest width, whereas the 15-inch model is 0.72 inches thick. The Surface laptops are also protected by Gorilla Glass 5, whereas with MacBooks, it's best to stay on your toes since they are very, very prone to damage. And if you're anyone whose clumsy scale is off the charts, we won't judge. We'd just advise to go with the Surface instead. Other than the build quality and design, how are these laptops in terms of connection? Surprise, surprise, Microsoft gets the cake in this one as well as they provided their Surface Laptop 7 with two USB 4 or Thunderbolt Type-C ports, a USB-A 3.1 port, a Surface Connect port, and a headphone jack. The 15-inch model comes with an additional micro SD card reader, so there's no lack of ports anywhere. Pretty sure you can run an airplane with that. Oh wait, Microsoft's flight simulator has got us beat there too. Now on the flip side, the MacBook Air also comes with two Type-C USB 4 ports. There's a MagSafe 3 port for charging alongside a 3.5mm headphone jack, but it lacks a USB-A, which gives Microsoft its edge. Connection was never a strong suit of Apple, and you can tell by its users. Now for wireless, the new Surface laptop also comes with Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4, which are the latest wireless connectivity standards available as of right now. Apple's MacBook, on the other hand, only supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. However, the former shouldn't really be a big deal, considering the limitations of the Wi-Fi 7 so far. Overall, Microsoft's connectivity scales evenly with the company's connection to the people. So if you want a laptop that's versatile to say the least, we'd heavily suggest going with Microsoft. Now for the power talk. According to Microsoft, the latest Surface laptops that come powered by Snapdragon X Elite chipsets are 58% faster than the M3 MacBook Air. The Surface laptop utilizes a powerful processor with 12 cores, 8 performance cores, 
and four efficiency cores, with the performance cores capable of reaching up to 4.0 GHz. It has a 43 MB cache and an Adreno GPU with 3.8 teraflops of performance. The Neural Processing Unit offers 45 tops of AI processing power. The laptop comes with 16 GB of LDDR5X RAM and a replaceable PCIe Gen 4 NVMEM.2 solid state storage. The result of all that? On Geekbench 6.3 and Cinebench 2024, this beats the hell out of all the other laptops except one, albeit in the single core tests. Speaking of the one laptop they couldn't beat in terms of single core performance, Apple's M3 laptop features an octa-core CPU with four performance cores and four efficiency cores. The base model comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. The performance cores can reach up to 4.06 gigahertz, while the efficiency cores provide a steady 2.75 gigahertz. The neural engine can deliver 18 teraflops of performance for AI and machine learning tasks. Now these, in comparison, are less than half of what Microsoft can provide on their Surface laptops. The scoreboard makes a statement in itself, where we can see the MacBook Air bagging 3,065 points on single core and 11,959 points on multi-core performance, according to Geekbench. And that's not all. Another edge from Apple is the efficiency aspect, especially considering the M3 MacBook is a fanless laptop, whereas the Surface laptop comes with an active cooling feature. How long till we can see Qualcomm come up with their own lineup of efficiency? Guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Bottom line, the X Elite chipsets while being almost on par with Apple, Apple still remained the best in terms of efficiency. With promises of up to 20 hours and 22 hours of local video playback on the 13 and 15 inch Surface Laptop 7 models respectively, Microsoft made a lot of people happy with the runtime. For the competition, the MacBook Air M3 will provide a battery life of up to 18 hours of Apple TV app movie playback on both of their 13 and 15 inch versions. For web usage, the Surface Laptop is rated at 13 and 15 hours respectively on the 13 and 15 inch models, while Apple will provide up to 15 hours of wireless web usage, which has been a running standard for their previous versions of the series as well. However, in terms of charging, the Surface Laptop appears to be the one with the edge, as from the box of a 13-inch Surface Laptop, we'll get a 39-watt adapter and a 65-watt one from the 15-inch variant. The MacBook in comparison comes with a 30 or 35-watt adapter for the 13-inch variant, based on core configuration of course, while the larger 15-inch variant comes with a 35-watt adapter straight out of the box. As you can see, it's again a choice of preference. Do you prefer a quicker charging experience or a battery that holds more power altogether? Ask yourself, are you a Windows guy or an Apple guy? Now yes, this might oversimplify the choosing process, but we prefer the if it's not broke, don't fix it method. And according to that, if you're into the ecosystem and prefer the Mac OS, the MacBook M3 Air would be the obvious choice. But it doesn't mean it'd be the most beneficial one. You see, for the price, you'll get a much, much better deal from Microsoft, since the Surface Laptop 7 offers you a higher RAM slash storage offering, among other things, we'd go with the Surface Laptop. And not only that, I mean, we got a higher refresh rate, better storage, and better RAM. What else could you want? Still, we understand the allure of Apple, and we won't judge. But personally, we'd go with the Surface as we did time and time before.